Hello YouTubers, this is the Tree and 60 Fun and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a simple keyframe animation using Sheriff Dropless X6. Uh, whether you are using X6 or X5 or any other version, it doesn't matter much as the UI is not yet revamped completely. It's almost similar to its previous one, although a uh, few more features have been added in version X6. Okay, first I'll begin the process by opening my software, which is uh, Sheriff Dropless X6, and I've been uh, and I'm opening. I've seen uh, many comments, which uh, in which people had uh, asked me how to uh, to open the key, uh, keyframe animation screen. Okay, I'll be using I'll be that also, and uh, I I even had a request here you know, for uh, including the audio, which wasn't available in the previous version. Well, this time I'm speaking by myself and I'll be teaching you how to create a keyframe animation step by step. It won't be like the earlier version, although you can check the earlier one by checking in our YouTube channel. And the earlier one also had been uh, quite a good one. But this time it's with audio and let us begin. We'll be first opening keyframe animation. I'll be clicking out there. And now we'll select the size that we want. There are many sizes, okay, I'll be taking the common one, which is the medium rectangle. Then here you can use text and all, this is called the text, so I'll be writing. Oh, okay, this is particularly an advertisement, uh, advertising type. Uh, Animation in which I'll be showing you how to do this. Okay, for example. And after that, you can select shapes. There are many shapes. You can select small areas. You see both shapes. In order to show. First, you check out that you must take a small one, so and you must just increase it more and more so that it looks. Smooth. It will be going suddenly. It won't be looking as smooth as required. After that, you can increase the opacity so that. And now I'll be taking. I'll be adding. I'll be increasing the office every time working fine and after this I'll be doing the next step I'll just decreasing the I'll be decreasing the opposite so that it just Always remember to do it step by step, not just creating a layer of um, keyframe animations. And remember, uh, while you insert a new frame, you insert a uh, keyframe which is uh, whose keyframe duration is 1.0 second. And this is the add one. If you want a much faster or much more slower, it's your wish. However, I will use one second as, uh, as it's my well, but if you want to do something else, you can just select another. Now,
now there are many more functions even out here like uh, styles, galleries, and much more. But I think this is a mega 3D, it's like your piece, or there are many things like the toolbox which I have uh, from uh, by default. And but this time I'll be placing this and I'll change the color a bit more by tomorrow. And here I'll be. While you increase, you can change the color too. This will be much more better. And I'll be just continuing on. Squeeze up as see. this again and this time I'll be reducing the other scene completely not much then I'll be taking this this way and here and here much more less just come on here here much more This, you need to add one more blank space so that there will be enough time to clean them. Now I'll be opening this. So this is a way to do it and please subscribe us for more videos as this uh, this makes us more and more efficient in producing more videos and the, if you want to download this flash animation you can go uh, click the link below and visit our website www.the3n60funderwebly.com and you can request any queries, uh, any video to be created or uh, uh, or any problem you have in making with uh, w relating to Windows 8 and if it's possible we'll be trying to help you out and if the topic is quite a good one then we may also produce a video on that topic <coughs> and uh, once again I would like to say please subscribe to our channel for more videos and thank you for watching and see you in my next video